of afternoon to all today we will be solving finding the pivot index this problem is also known as equilibrium point for the given array an equilibrium point is a point where the sum of the numbers where the sum of the numbers to the left of the index is equal to the sum of the index sum of the numbers to the right of the index for example for the point 6 the sum to the left is 11 and sum to the right is also 11 so the point 6 I mean the index 3 is the pivot point or the equilibrium point so the output is 3 here there is no equilibrium point so the output should be negative 1 so let us solve the problem so, So let us first develop the strategy for solving this problem. First strategy. So step one will be um, step one will be okay, finding finding the sum finding the sum then. Step 2 will be initializing all record variables. Initializing all the required, required variables. Uh, the required variables are left sum. That's it. Left sum. And the logic. Uh, the, that stuff, the main logic while iterating, while iterating, while iterating from zeroth index to end of array. End of array. We have to do the following. Do the following. I'll try to do the following. So, what we had to do first, we had to set reduce sum from the first element. Like uh, the here, the sum will be uh, so. Okay, we'll uh, have a dry run later. Okay, sum i that's the first step point one three point one three point two check for equality 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 sum whether sum equal to equal to left sum 3.3 3.3 check whether left sum add change left sum left sum plus equal to left sum plus RAI if this condition is same return the index And if we have exited from the loop, that means there is no pivotal point or equilibrium point. So we have to return the negative. So let us start. Uh, we have to initialize sum to zero, left sum to zero. Good. And we will go for this. Case. Okay. So step one finding the sum. 1, 8, 11, 17, 22, 28. So 28 is the sum. Sum equal to 28. And we are initializing left sum to 0. That is also fine. Coming to the main main logic. First we are reducing I mean first we are doing sum minus RII. 
initially array i is equal to i is equal to 0 till i equal to n minus 1 so initially array i is equal to 0 so it will be here So, after this step, sum will be equal to sum will be equal to twenty seven left sum equal to zero. Now we are checking. Okay, step one is done. Sum is made twenty seven. Now we are checking for equality whether sum is equal to equal to left sum, which is not true. So we are increasing the left sum. Left sum is equal to three. Now we are incrementing i. So I will point to 7 now. Now sum equal to sum minus r i. So sum will be made 20 minus 7, 27 minus 7, 20. Now we are checking uh, if sum equal to equal to left sum. Sum is not equal to equal to left sum. So we are incrementing left sum with this value 7. So 1 plus 7 it becomes 8. Now we are incrementing i. Now, okay. Uh, first, we are decreasing, decreasing sum. So, 20 minus 3 is 17. We are checking whether sum equal to equal to left sum, which is not true. So, we are incrementing left sum. So, left sum is 11 now. 11 next case i is incremented now sum equal to equal to sum is equal to sum minus array now we are reducing 6 from this so 17 minus 6 it's 11 now sum is equal to equal to left sum because sum and left sum is equal to 7 11 so we are returning that index i mean for returning that index we are returning that type that's it that's the logic for this problem and now we will start implementing the solution for this one so let's start implementing the solution so step one will be finding the sum step one finding the sum so, finding the sum for that we have to initialize the sum variable it sum is equal to 0 so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus sum equal to sum plus array i for every for every for every element we are adding the adding it to the sum value 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 plus 6 step 1 is done so step 2 step 2 we have to initialize the record variable initializing the record variable record variable is left sum sum is already uh, defined so int left sum is equal to 0 so step 2 is done let's move to the step 3 going to do 3.1 2.1 sum is sum is okay, copy the entire thing same as code uh, okay so 3.1 we have implemented now we are going to implement 3.2 the index currently the i i is the index and 
3.3 that's it and finally we are returning negative one return negative one so for if now the button points are Okay, we got the expected output. So our expected and actual output are same. So it's good to go. We'll submit it. Hmm. I uh, can see it's hundred percent faster than other submissions. So this solution is extremely good, and you can follow it. And it takes it takes less than ninety nine point nine percent. The solution is extremely good. Follow this solution. Thank you for listening.